everybody on the sideline knew what the play was going to be. So as soon as we got down there, it was just like, go run it. And all my guys had trust in me. They knew me and Jerry were going to have a good connection and you know, they were going perfectly. And they were all super excited. Uh, that play we knew when we went spread, we work on it every day with my receivers. When we go to the stance and start drills, we have a return route, run the slant and return. And when I called it, I seen the matchup to the field. I said, the field gonna be open. But the OC and I both said, well, Junior is on, so Kiari gonna look at Junior. He's gonna throw it to Junior no matter what. It could be triple coverage, he's throwing it to him right now because that guy's gonna catch the football for him. You know, me and Kiari, were, uh, we was connecting the whole fourth quarter and uh, the last drive. Uh, I caught a pass before that, and I just told Coach, just give me the ball. And uh, KR put it in the right place, and it was just, it was special. Especially uh, being the first time beating them in school history, it's just a special moment. It was super amazing. We haven't beat them every time we played them. That was our first time winning, so it really felt good just to go out there and just beat them one time and make history. Lakeview has been 0 for 8 against George Wall, and we went down there last year and lost 28 to 10. So to, to, to defeat those guys in that fashion, in that manner, you know, as a coach, you wanted to be opposite. We was up 27-17, you got to finish the drill. But to see the resilience of that team, to be down with 50-some seconds, to drive down the field. And I mean, the first play, the first play on that drive was the junior, 23 yard pass on the sideline, and then to finish it, to cap it off with junior. But to see those guys, they love each other. My team is a family. We broke it down that night. The guys said, let's break it down to family because that's what it meant to those guys. Uh, the atmosphere, it was it was good. We had a lot of support, a lot of people there, a lot of doubters, but it's also a lot of a lot of fans that uh, believed in us. So just making them proud, making the coaches proud, just making that game when it played just felt, felt amazing. I think it's the, the attitude, the mentality. The mentality every time those two step on the field, they think they're the best player. It's I'm the best out here. I'm the best receiver. I'm the best quarterback. I'm the best DB. That And it's always, every time we do a competition drill, that's what it shows. They want the ball in their hands. They want to compete. And so when you have that attitude of your two guys that has that, that connection and they say, I'm the best and I want to be the best, but it's not they feel like they're the best here. They feel like they're the best around. Kiari, that's that's we're cousins, but he's he's cool with everybody on the team. Like everybody on the team loves him. Everybody in the school loves him. Always got a smile on his face. Uh, on and off the field, we just bond and we just click. He he's a leader. Uh, he just wants to see us win. He wants to see the seniors do good. So he just gets us the ball. He's more of a goofy leader than a serious one. So he just put a smile on people's face. Come out here to have a good time, but also you know stay focused, stay locked in, stay ready. Junior, high energy, very good leader. Junior is one of our best leaders. He brings everything, the energy, everything we do throughout the locker room, Junior sets the standard. Junior is the guy that everybody on the, everybody younger and older, everybody looks at Junior, that's the go-to guy. His edge is, this is senior year, his last year, he want to make something out of it, leave a legacy for the little kids that come to our games. That's his biggest thing, and he does that. Really, I just want to go to college. That's my biggest thing. I just want, that's my, been my dream since I was little, so. That's just what motivates me every day. Just get up, I can do this. What gives this team its edge? Uh, I think it's coach. Coach pushes us to be the best we can be. And then uh, the doubters, you know, uh, we, we get doubt a lot just because our numbers and people don't think we can play. But at the end of the day, we put 11 on the field and the guys know that. So we just go out there and play hard every snap. Well, last year, we were, it was a lot of naysayers just saying, y'all the old Lakeview, y'all can't do anything. Y'all can't do this, y'all can't do that. So that just motivated us this year, gave us the edge to just like go out here and prove everybody wrong. My team, that mentality with my football team is just different this year. The swagger that they play with, the grit that they play with, but this team loves each other. I mean, they play for one another. At competi when we have competition drills, we go hit. Last year, we'll go hit. I have to blow the whistle saying we're playing buddy buddy. This year, we got kids calling each other out. Hey, I want you. I want you. Come bring it. And so that attitude shows on Friday night. We are a physical football team. And that's that's the identity of this team. They strike, they they play fast, they play hard, but most importantly, they play for one another. Uh, we call ourselves strike team, so we just go out there, strike, you know, uh, try to leave an impact, try to make the other team know like we're here, we're here to play every time we step on the field. Favorite thing is just the chemistry and the brotherhood. Everybody loves each other, everybody. It's not one man for themselves, everybody got each other. So this team to, to keep their continued success, I mean, we got to stay humble. We got to continue to work. 
and then trust the game plan and trust what we're implementing. But continue to play together. If we continue to play fast and physical and assignment football and play for one another, this team can go far. It's a special group.